Dead meme. Hey there, welcome to the forest. So, I'd like to show you how maybe you can build a useful rope bridge to get across some of these uh, some of these hazards to make your traversing around the world a little bit easier. And of course, you could use the rope gun, but I feel that this is a bit more fun. So, I'm just going to jump straight in. So, here we are. We have some logs. Hopefully, you know how to cut these down. Uh, if you don't, uh, at the end of the video, I'll talk about cutting down trees. Alright, so we'll pick up that log. And as you can see, if you uh, look at the ground there and you right-click, you can change the uh, the setting of, the, of how it's going to be placed, right? So you can place it down as a stake, or you can place it down as a... Um, as like a flat plane, right? So that's great. This is pretty much the start of your rope bridge. You don't need to do much else beyond have some rope. And as you can see, this arrow is going to tell us which direction we're going to deploy the rope. So you'll need at least two. Where you, where can you get ropes? Um, there are wooden crates, various um, abandoned camps throughout the game that you'll encounter, like uh, old campsites that are destroyed all over. There, it's there. Once you start finding rope, you'll you'll always have more than enough. So as you can see, we got a check mark on the left click. And if we just take a look again, we just need to get a double check. There we go. So that's the start of your rope bridge. And all you need to do now is pick up more logs. And here you go. You come and here we go. See the check mark? We click. Well, it's putting them over there, but that's probably because that's where the bridge origin is. So as you can see, if you repeat this process a whole bunch, eventually you'll build a rope bridge. You could do what I've done here. This is just for fun. Like, this does not add any structural value whatsoever. This is just to uh, add some flair. So while we're here, let's talk about cutting down trees. So let's say if I want this log or this tree to fall that way, start on this end. Let's give her a couple of hacks. Mutants, and just finish it off and it typically falls in the direction so hopefully this isn't a spoiler for you but these are some of the mutants that are roaming the island they're uh these ones are typically in caves i'm not sure why he's roaming the surface but don't forget to skin these guys they give uh great armor so um with that being said i'll show you another setup i've done all right so here's a similar setup we have a bridge without any sort of, uh, without any logs. And so how did I do this? I just kind of went like that and fired her across. And so this, just in case you're unaware, hopefully this isn't too big of a spoiler for you. This isn't a, um, an item known as a rope gun. Um, I won't get into details of where it comes from just in case I am spoiling it for you. But if you really want to know, you can Google it. You're not a, you're not a dummy, but... So that's the option you've got, right? You can just kind of create a little system to shoot between. You do need to be able to clear, like if you don't... Um, here, I'll show you what I mean. If you don't have the actual clearance, as you can see, I can't shoot there. So that's why I've done that. It's not, like, for any particular reason. It just gets it up higher to make it easier. So you could use this sort of method to get across easier. You could fire between two trees. You don't have to do this, right? This is just for fun. So we've got a little Walden compound over there. I got, I'm going to show you how we built it and the strategy we used to keep the, the um, cannibals out. But while we're here, I'm just going to show you this guy. We have the ability to create a different kind of bridge. This one's not quite as useful. So as you can see, you can get this lift up little look here, right? Because this is this is what we're hoping to do. I'll just give you a brief sneak peek here. As you can see, I don't have as much support here. I'm going to show you how I did this. So you can save on some materials if this is a, a route you would choose to go. So again, you can pick up logs you've put down by pressing C. And we're looking for that little swoop up. There we go. 
And we'll do the same thing here. Place. A little swoop up. And now you'll be able to remove these two. So uh, there is something to keep in mind. You're not going to be able to alter this structure after you do this. So you'll have to put them back. But it's not the end of the world. Like It's just another option. Another potential way to build. So what we've got here is while well, we're expanding the compound so that's that part's unfinished but as you can see hey how's it going we've built some sticks here that are pointy you just put a stick in the earth i'll show it to you and you can create a little bit of pointy defense oh sorry that's not what we want right click to change mode there we go we'll take the axe out and as you can see there we go, we've created a pointy stick, and if you touch that, it hurts. It sucks. So, we can uh, hopefully get rid of it for you. Maybe not. So, this is how we get into the base. We use the rope gun, which I somewhat demonstrated earlier. You get this, um, I, I don't want to give it away. It's fun. So, we've basically built a little wall around everything this for the most part keeps them out like they slam on the walls and that's what the spikes are for right it helps us um keep the the cannibals out and uh my friend's gone native he's joining them clearly we're testing this out we kind of knocked this out and we built this little rope on the end of these logs and we're hoping that we could use this that this will be considered a defensive wall uh, if you have the answer to this and you want to throw it in the chat for people like that'd be pretty cool just to save them the headache but as you can see we've uh used the zip lines you can place your logs on these and you can get them in here so that we have access to them and here's an example of like a simple simple rope bridge we've connected these two buildings so if you want to make some cool tree houses and whatnot and interconnect them, you easily could. So here's another little example of using zip lines and ropes to maybe make a base that's a little bit more protected. So this is my uh, friend's base. He's more, um, he's definitely more into base building than me. I liked building the, the bridges and exploring. It's more enjoyable for me. As you can see, he's used the ropes as well to climb up and down. This is a rope bridge. This is some steps. Uh, actually, while we're here, let's talk about how to build steps. Let's borrow some friends, my friend's lumber here. So we'll place it down. Hopefully he doesn't mind too much. Oh. <laughs> I am <laughs> desecrating someone's grave. It'll just kind of rearrange. And as you can see, I'm going to use that same technique. I'm going to swoop it up. There we go. So, you've got a couple of options here. As you can see, you can split the log. If you right-click, you get a few other options. The up and down like this will build some steps. And this will place the log more like a ramp. So we can pick these up. We can right click. And as you can see, we're getting more of a step sort of design. I'm not too sure why it's not consuming logs when I pick them up. But it's probably for the best considering these aren't my logs. So as you can see, you can build a, a stairwell that allows you to easily traverse, right? So that's how we did this. But anyway, hopefully you enjoy making bridges or something to that effect if this was helpful to you you know hopefully you could leave me a like or a sub you want to leave a comment something that maybe i should have covered or that i left out like i definitely was really light on how the building works so hopefully this just kind of sparks some conversation and again thanks for showing up